Salutations, my name is Summer and this is Sterling Reads and we have Sylvie Rue here. And I guess she's wanting to join me while I uh, do the third season of Has Steve Read It? So I saw Bill Rutenberg's video over at the Rutenberg Library and I will link his video down below. I guess he wasn't the first one to, to bring season three back but uh, of Has Steve Read It? But he's the video I saw this morning. So <laughs> she's rubbing against the, the books. Okay, so let's get to this. All the books I will, um, I'll type down below. So that way you can just, if, if you don't want to watch the video, you just want to see what books I am asking Steve if he's read, then they'll be in the description box below. Um, I don't really remember all the rules. <laughs> they say be fair. There's I don't have I don't have anything here that's been. Um, they're all in the English language. Nothing has been. There's no independent publishing here. Uh, so Steve has probably read all these books. And if you decide to do this, make sure you go into it um, being very humble, knowing that Steve has read everything. Last year. Um, I did this and I got three beans, amazingly. Uh, this year I, I go into it thinking I would be so happy to get one bean. So we'll see. Okay, um, let's start off with The Mercy of Thin Air by Ronlin Dominique. Uh, this book starts out in the 1920s and we have a young woman named Rosy and she is having this great love affair. Um, with this man named Andrew, and she suddenly dies in a tragic accident. And instead of passing over, she decides to stay in the realm in between. And so then you have like 75 years of her haunting. Um, but anyway, has Steve read it? Sylvie, you're supposed to help me, not, not mess me up here. Okay, so the second book. If the Church Were a Christian, uh, this is by Philip Gully, who is a Quaker pastor. Pastor, And anyway, I love uh, Philip Gully. I would, got a chance to meet him. I, he, uh, can, he looks outside of the box, which I love when it comes to religion. I know Steve is not religious, but I know he reads a lot of different religious books. So have you read it, Steve? The third book, which I'm pretty sure Steve has read this um, because of what it says in the, the beginning. So this is Sleeping with a Sunflower. I'll show you the, right here, by Louise. Is it Riot? I'm not for sure. But it does say, Sleeping with a Sunflower under your pillow will permit you to know the truth of any matter. So I'm pretty sure Steve has read this book. And it's exactly what it says. It's old time gardening lore. So there's recipes. It says, it has, tells you about the different moons, um, when to transplant, building a pond, all that kind of stuff. So Steve, have you read it? Okay. Number four, you're only allowed to choose eight books, by the way. Number four, Between Two Worlds by Zainab Salvi. She is amazing. I absolutely love her. She is the one who founded, well, she co-founded with her husband at the time, which they have a divorce since then, but that doesn't matter. Um, Women for Women International. And that was back in like 1993. And I have been able to sponsor women off and on throughout, you know, since maybe 97 was the first time. Um, so yeah, it's been a long time. Anyway, it's women you sponsor women for a year uh, who's a refugee and she learns special skills and, and it, I, I just think it's wonderful to help other people when you can. So anyway, this book is actually about her growing up um, and what she, her and her family had to go through. So anyway, have you read it, Steve? Okay, so this is, I, I know Steve has the bean, little Frida, who's gorgeous. I think we all love her. Um, so this is a dog book. Uh, well, there's horses and other animals in it, but this is called Getting Lucky by Suzanne Marino. 
and this is about um, Angel's Gate, which is like a hospice for animals. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Sylvia, you're not gonna go there. Um, anyway, it's heartbreaking, it's inspiring. Steve, have you read it? <laughs> okay, another one is a kind of, it's a memoir, but it's about religion and it is hilarious. It's called I'm Perfect, You're Doomed by, I never know how to pronounce her name, Kyria Abrahams, Kuria, I, I'm not for sure how to pronounce that. Anyway, this is, she grew up a Jehovah Witness, hilarious, I mean, laugh out loud, funny. <laughs> so anyway. Have you read it? Okay, we're getting close. I have two more books. One is Dog Man by Martha Sherrill. And this says an uncommon life on a faraway mountain. But it's really about this man named Mori, who's a Japanese man, who during World War II saved the Akita dog. When other people were, you know, starving, well, he was starving, his family was starving too. But um, when other people were eating dogs and selling them to the Americans, he actually kept his dogs and he sometimes had to hide them and protect them. And um, he kept his line, his breed of Akita line alive during a, a horrible time. So anyway, it's a wonderful book. Um, and I think Akitas are beautiful. So I'm thankful to him for for doing that. Okay, one more book. <laughs> so last year in St season two of Has Steve Read It, I, uh, one of my saving graces I think was a cat book. And I actually, um, there was a, a new thing that he had, which was a, a God No, I've never read it. <laughs> I know I never will read it or something. I don't remember exactly, but it was very funny. Anyway, so I have to, have to throw in another cat book since I was cozy reading with Quaker cats last year and I have changed my name. So uh, he probably has read this, maybe, because Gwen Cooper is very uh, popular, but it's Homer's Odyssey. And I absolutely love this book. Uh, it is one of my all time favorites. It's a memoir about her and her cats and Homer, who is a blind cat, who reminds me of my Sterling with what I've gone through with him. So anyway, Steve, have you read it? So I'm going in thinking he's read all these books. <laughs> there they go. Anyway, Steve, thank you so much for doing this. We have so much fun listening to you talk about different books that you've read. And um, now, now you know why he has a, a Frida instead of a Sylvie. <laughs> Anyway, and I wore my Everybody Poops t-shirt because I wore it last year for season two and I got three beans. So I'm kind of hoping it's a good luck shirt. Anyway, thank you so much, Steve, for doing this. Good luck to everybody else who decides to uh, see if Steve has read it. And um, until next time, bye. Thank you for watching.